human resource information systems over the years has become the most convenient program used by medium to large organizations purported to eliminate or reduce the tedious traditional approach to keeping and maintaining hr data business processes and systems of these organizations i am dorothy Ajibel, and this presentation will be taking you through hris and recruitment and selection in today's global environment Organizations are searching for more efficient and effective means of acquiring and maintaining a highly qualified workforce. One popular and highly productive strategy for meeting this goal has been the use of technology, especially the internet. It is therefore estimated that 70% to 90% of large organizations use online recruitment and that number continues to increase as organizations try to remain competitive. Considering the global expansion of multinational companies, it is therefore important to have a central means that can unify the reports from all locations and avoidance of duplication. Moving forward, Norway and Stura 2007 defined HRIS as a computer system that acquires, stores, manipulates, analyzes, retrieves, and distributes information regarding human resources. Whilst Darag Mohammed et al. 2010 defined recruitment as a linking pin between the potential candidates and vacant positions in an organization. L. Cotton and Leah 2008 stated that selection is an imperative tool for the organization to offer good results in recruiting employees. Some of these tools include psychometric testing, assessment centers, etc. The rest of my teammates will take you through factors affecting the adoption of HRIS, why HRIS is even important, the role of HRIS in recruitment as a key activity of HR, and the role of HRIS in selection as an HR activity. Enjoy the session. Thank you very much, Dorothy. My name is Nana Ama Apia. And I'll be taking you through the next section of the presentation, which entails factors influencing the adoption of HRIS and why HRIS is important. There are numerous components that affect the adoption of HRIS. Among these are an organization's readiness and competency. Organizational readiness construct is used to determine whether the organization has the necessary attributes such as financial resources, human resources, and the competitive attitude to prepare to adopt HRIS or not. Organizational size. This plays an important role in the adoption of HRIS because increasing size creates a critical mass which justifies the acquisition of a particular innovation and necessitates adoption behaviors. A firm's experience with technology. A firm's past experience with technology in terms of exposure and organizational learning ultimately affects its future choice in the adoption of technology. The type of business also is a factor. Companies in high technology sections such as telecommunications use more elaborate HRIS compared to companies in low technology section. And lastly, organizational ownership characteristics. In the context of adoption, private sector organizations were more responsive to technical factors, whereas public sector organizations were more responsive to institutional factors. Is HRIS even important? Well, the use of HRIS has become a formidable tool in the affairs of business organizations. These are a few reasons why HRIS is important. It helps organize information in a single database, which makes updating and retrieval of information easier. It provides information about the type of talent available that can help the organization achieve its strategic goals. It also ensures the security of data or information. And lastly, it helps to increase productivity of the organization in its high extent and also result in employee satisfaction. The role of HRIS in recruitment as a key activity of HR is what we are going to discuss next. The applicant's information acquired through the firm's recruitment process 
can be funneled into the company's HRIS. The use of HRIS in recruitment processes can make the process more efficient by having information readily available and usable a moment's notice. One important function the HRIS provides is application tracking. Application tracking allows for the generation of applicant profile which are compiled through application blanks and resumes. These profiles can aid the hiring manager in their employment decision. Recruiters or the hiring managers can perform key searches to find qualified applicants for available jobs. Applicant tracking also allows recruiters, hiring managers and sometimes the applicants themselves to see where they are in the recruitment process. The HRIS can provide information about yield ratio for each recruiting source and as well as the cost effectiveness of the recruitment process. Applicants data can be stored and searched for future vacancies. With the use of HRIS, data on applicants who submit their application are well stored so that in case of any job vacancies, their data can be retrieved and reviewed. Lastly, HRIS can identify vacant or lacking areas of human resources. With all available information through the human resource information systems, HR analysts or panel are able to identify the HR shortfalls of an organization and make recommendations. The last section of this presentation seeks to address the role HRIS play in selection as a key activity of HR. HRIS has come to strengthen and enhance the selection process with various organizations. For example, selection systems have brought about information systems which help the firm in decision making and administrative duties. We will particularly dwell much on the impact of database systems on selection processes. Database design. Database is designed to suit the organization's preference of candidate in the selection process. Selection systems require a careful design of database to store and keep track of selection data, both before and after individuals are hired and the ability to link information in interrelated systems such as candidate test data, demographics and employment data for those who are hired, job movement and position history within the organization, development of scoring and decision rules. If the output of the completed assessment is simple or complicated, the HRIS expert who participate in the creation of scoring or decision rules must be sure that they are easy for the HR department and others to understand and apply consistently throughout the organization. Finally, designing and applying administrative functions of the system. This basically refers to the features permitting access to assessment results and the right to distribute candidate information. Then listen to the discussion on the relevance of HRIS in recruitment and selection. We hope you have enjoyed the session and been educated. This is Group 5 and thank you for your time.